Time. Time and temperature are the only two variables that accompany us from crop to cup. It took me two years of living between origin and this stage to study these concepts and bring you the best flavor experience today. See, the coffee grower measures time and temperature during fermentation and the drying stage. The roaster measures the relationship between time and temperature in the roasting curve. And finally, the barista measures time and temperature in the preparation of the coffee. So today, I'm going to show you how time and temperature is not only vital in all of these processes, but also in your flavor experience. So to enhance your flavor experience for the espresso course, I started with the portafilters filters out of the espresso machine and I cooled them down to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, I'm creating a special microclimate that's gonna protect delicate florals following our coffee, citrus notes, as well as slow down my extraction to give you a sweeter cup and a better tactile experience. Please write down that your tactile experience is gonna be silky, medium light, medium in length in the finish, and crisp. I'm using two coffees today, and I'm using a blend of 80% of a Gesha and 20% of a Cedra. Both of my coffees are from the south of Colombia. My Gesha is from Mikava Farms, and my Cedra is from Granja Paraiso 92. Right now, I just pulled your espressos. As I set them down on your table, I want you to please just evaluate my crema and wait for further instruction. I'm gonna pass by with lids and I'm gonna cover your espressos, creating a microclimate that's gonna protect delicate florals, flavor volatiles, as well as allow our coffee to slowly cool down without over oxidizing. Now the coffees I mentioned shared a unique pair of variables. The first one is that they were anaerobic, anaerobically fermented in bioreactors. A bioreactor is a fancy word for the vessels used to transform cells and enzymes in fermentation. So I made you each a bioreactor and they contain real coffee cherries. Use them as a reference, but also we're gonna use them to prime your experience very soon. Write down that because of these bioreactors, you're going to taste black cherry and tangerine. Now, the second variable that these coffees shared while sourcing them for you was a constant overcast of clouds when I was visiting the farms this year in Colombia. And here, the clouds provided natural shade this year to enhance cup complexity, sweetness, as well as giving us a new floral and flavor of magnolia. This happened in 20 days of extended drying at a constant temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, with this information, the roaster decided to roast this gesha at an inland temperature of 385 degrees, total roast time 11 minutes. The cedar was then roasted at an inland temperature of 390 with a total roast time of 11 minutes and a half. And here we developed new flavors of chocolate covered raisin and simple syrup. Now judges, no BS, I traveled out of Colombia this year sourcing these coffees for this flavor experience today. Me and my team just love these coffees and they always stood out on the table. And we had the chance and decided to blend 80-20 because we could send these coffees to a lab that tested on flavor potential and chemical compounds found in coffee. This gave us the confidence to tell you that these, these flavors are present in our cups. Please direct your attention to the, to the graphs in front of you and I'll guide you through them. Those graphs on the far right, you're gonna see a color coordinated. You're gonna see that we sent other coffees that we actually thought about sending as well. And we decided on these two and you'll find out really quick why. I highlighted for you that where the flavors come from. So the orange line is the Gesha. The pink line is the Cedra. You can see that the Gesha is full of organic acids and poly sugars that are responsible for those flavors of black cherry and tangerine. 
while when you look at the cedra, it was full of so much potential that was very high on bitterness as well. And from there, we got our other flavors from the high diterpene, lipids, and proteins, giving me that body. And this transformed into our cup to that chocolate-covered raisin gave us the body that you felt today. If you direct your attention to the flavor potential below, you'll see that I got all the sweetness and acidity from my Gesha. I stood out with the cedra. Now, I just pulled all the shots for our espressos. And very soon, I just want to stop this moment in time. And I want to share a little bit of my experience while sourcing these coffees for you. So before you taste your espressos, I want you to please put your scorchies in the shelves, or you could put them on your lap, and grab these bioreactors and take a couple smells. It's going to give you an idea of where these flavors originated from. While you do that, I'm going to take these lids and stir three times and feel free to enjoy. You're doing a great job. Remember that because of the bioreactor, you're gonna find black cherry and tangerine. That because of these clouds and this overcast, it affected our cup directly, and then we got those flavors and florals of magnolia. That during roasting, we developed those new flavors of chocolate-covered raisin and simple syrup. And finally, because of the way I decided to extract this coffee, you're gonna have that silky body, medium to light, medium length at the end and crisp. Enjoy. Let's get a round of applause for that successful espresso oh, round. Oh, Let's go, baby. Oh. All righty, judges, now for our milk course. I'm using an inverse blend, using 80% of the Gisidra and 20% of the Gesha. The reason is, is that I'm using very sweet milk. I also pulled my shots of espresso around six minutes ago. Since I'm using 80% of that Cidra, I wanted to enhance the acidity that it was missing and the sweetness. And with this milk, you will taste cocoa dusted chocolate truffle. Cow tails. If you never had a cow tail, it's a chewy caramel candy wrapped around a cylinder of cream. Before you taste, to enhance this flavor experience and place close attention, because it's a little confusing, you're gonna stir 15 times. On your first sip, you evaluate through the straw, getting those sweet flavors. On the second sip, you evaluate from the rim. You're gonna help me create that harmonious balance between this milk and espresso. And then from the rim, you're gonna find my, flavor note, my favorite note that comes from this milk, passion fruit cream. There you go, enjoy. Enjoy. You can place them back on your napkins when you're done. Thank you for that. The amazing busters will go and take those napkins from you when you're done. And last but not least for you, enjoy. Round of applause for the milk bands.
in the world, baby. Alrighty, judges, for our final course, signature beverage course. In front of you, in these glasses, there's spheres that I made using coffee blossoms from the Cedra and the Gesha. They each contain 45 grams of a concentrate that I made using 25 grams of it with 105 grams of water, and I concentrated it just like this over 10 minutes. With these vessels over three days, I froze them, and they're going to help us have a transformative experience and cool down our beverage. One of your flavor uh, instructions is to please swirl on your second sip just like this 20 times. It's gonna help us transform and open up that flavor and give us a new flavor note of lime sherbet with our espressos. Now, earlier I mentioned the constant overcast of clouds of Colombia. So I thought of what if you could actually taste these clouds? So I did exactly that. With 45 grams of egg whites over two minutes and this blender, I brought it to a firm peak. These eggs represent those clouds and are give, giving us a creamy texture experience and as well are gonna help me blend all of my flavors. Here I'm bringing to a quick candy-like state, panela sugar found in the south of Colombia. And this beverage just like this is called ponche in Colombia. And I'm making my version of it for you today. I'm using 20 grams of the panela sugar. This is gonna give us a new flavor note of orange blossom. So I used two coffees and here I have two other bioreactors. And in these bioreactors, one coffee I represented the Cedro and one coffee was the Gesha. The cedar, the cedar ingredient is peach with one part sugar and one part water. It gave me the body and fruit just like it did for our espressos. So I use it exactly like that here and I'm going to be using one ounce. It's going to give us a new flavor note, please write down, of tart mango. Next, representing our gesha, I made an oleosaccharum for its florals and citrus notes. Oleosaccharum is peeling yellow lemons and allowing them to ferment or allowing them to extract that flavor over a period of time and making a syrup. So I treated them just like our coffees. One for seven days, the other one for five days, just like the coffees experienced during fermentation. Finally, in here, I have our coffees and I'm gonna blend this all together and I'm gonna explain how you're gonna enjoy this. You're gonna enjoy this when I call time. On your first sip, you're gonna find the lime sherbet And a new flavor note because of this blend and because of the lemon, the oleosaccharum of green apple. Next, when you swirl those espressos, they're gonna get that orange, that blood orange, tart mango, and ready for the last one, hops. Judges, I want to begin by saying, like, thank you so much for this transformative experience today and how grateful I am to be here today. And also how happy I am that today I get to serve you those Colombian clouds that we always talk about on stage. Remember to enjoy when I call time. Remember to enjoy when I call time for that final time and find those flavors of lime sherbet, green apple, blood orange, hops. Soon I'm gonna stop this moment in time like I did in the middle of our presentation for one last time, okay? Double check. Judges, please enjoy. This is a wonderful experience. So grateful to be here. And for one last time, time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.